Ooh, what is up you guys and of course welcome to another Wi-Fi battle from the Valor Pokemon League actually being week 5 versus Houston, Roll Rooms and Nasser. Now if anyone wants to know where my week 3 and 4 games are, well, unfortunately the week 3 game I didn't play that, me and my opponent didn't schedule that well and we decided to forfeit both of us for that game and the fourth game I won quite um I had the game under control, but unfortunately we got a DC and it was kind of hard to recreate what we were doing, but at that point I had the game in the bag and at that point my opponent only played for differentials, so I was in a good spot. Unfortunately I couldn't showcase that. It was a really, really well designed game. Now, going into this game, I actually have dropped my Celesteela, which is something I felt the second I dropped it that, you know, Celesteela is a great Pokemon and I felt that it would really be very useful here. Uh, but uh, yeah, the thing is here, to be honest, I really, really wanted Cobillion, and one of my teammates dropped that, and I decided to get that straight at it, so I didn't have a need for two Steel types. Plus, I really want to reinvent myself. I kind of feel Celesteela is way too passive for me, so with that in mind, I thought it made sense. Now, for this matchup, I expected no less from my opponent. I expected this to be the matchup of Tornadus, Primarine, and Acrosma, Mudsteel, Sculpin, and Mega Glalie. I myself is using, um, oh, let's see if I can remember, a fully physical um, Zero Aura with Fire Punch, Close Combat, and Plasma Fist, and Grass Knot as filler. Uh, I think the only thing I crept here was Tornadoes. That goes for Mega V Drill 2, which is with Drill Run, Knock Off, um, U Turn, and uh, Protect. Then we have Cryogonal, which is a max defensive one able to deal with. Uh, most of the Pokemons here are quite well, only need to really watch out for potentially a Sword Stance, Scolipede, or Mud still being a Salt Fist. Uh, Cobalion, which is my only real response for Scolipede, is with a Sugarberry, Iron Head, Sword Stance, Stealth Frogs, and... Um, I think that is, right? No? Stealth Frogs, Sword Stance, yeah, and Dual Stab, and Iron Head, and Cold Scarlet. Stommy being C Blissed variant. Uh, I did have it for one individual Pokemon, though for the life of me I can't remember, but it worked just as well for Mudsteel, getting an analytic boosted Blizzard uh, should help significantly, and Croc is with a impish nature, no, it's a jolly nature, but max defensive, able to outspeed his Rotom, which isn't in the game. Combination here is Knockoff, Earthquake, Pursuit, and um, Stone Edge. So yeah, without further ado, let's actually go into this match. I record this a bit differently due to time constraints. Uh, as you guys may or may not know, I haven't been able to upload lately and has a lot to do with that my daughter got a bit ill, which hasn't been the best time to really record when she's sick. I really need to, of course, be active with her. So, uh, yeah, some things had to, unfortunately, be put aside. But, unfortunately, this will be alright anyway. I actually brought, or bought, brought, bought a new mi microphone. A snowball because Toys R Us in Sweden is actually laying out. Yeah, for everybody Americans who follow me, yeah, Toys R Us was still active here in Sweden, but no longer. So they sold everything out for 50%, which means I bought a snowball microphone for $25, and I think that's a fair price. So yeah, I don't know why I'm telling you guys that, but that's about it. So let's go into the match. <laughs> I don't know why I even said that. But yeah, hopefully, you guys are noticing that the quality is better. If you notice that it's worse, then you know, I'm, I'm sorry, right? Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna send off the directly Sarah Aura. I felt that that Pokemon was a fair lead towards my opponent as he sends off Tornadoes. Now, here's the thing. If Tornadoes is Scarf, it outspeed my whole team, but it can't do significant amount of damage here. So we actually go into switch out, going into Horsey. Now, I could have predicted this. I, I feel I could that, but I didn't. And I don't want to stay in for an Earthquake. I, I mean, why would I? As... Uh, <laughs> well, I could go for the potential of a Grass Knot, but my opponent actually will switch out. Either he's seeing which Pokemon is my check towards Mudsdale, or he's just feeling it. Um, that I potentially, that uh, I could be Sugarberry. So just finding out whether or not I had Grass Knot or whatnot. So anyway, the Glalie comes in, there's really nothing to do. My best switch in here is Cryogonals for both floating heads. So he switches out yet again, going into Jog Reference, the Prima Arena. And I finally are in a spot where I can start attacking. Uh, so I definitely feel like my opponent here is checking what my switch shins are. And for what it's worth, he's being somewhat successful here. Now I go directly for a Toxic, knowing that his best switch shin should either be 
um, Necrozma or potentially Scolipede actually. Uh, but Necrozma is a switch in, which is great because we do get the thing toxic. Uh, but I do fear the Stealth Rocks, I really do. But at the same time, I really can't stand in case he has Heat Wave. As uh, so again, it's sending my Garial, which it's just gonna get the Intimidate going on as uh, he's going for the Stealth Rock. Like I said, there, it's unfortunate but not devastating. I'm not super weak to rocks. I'm beater and Chrono will be in the one week. The rest is kind of fine. As uh, so I go directly for a knockoff here, knowing that that's gonna be my best play. Unfortunately, my opponent goes to Glalie, and the knockoff won't necessarily do that much. Um, it's definitely here in the area where I know I have to switch out. So my best switch in yet again is actually my Kraoganol. But my opponent is, well, as I said here, he was scouting before this. And the reason I say that is because now that he's mega evolving, he's gonna go for an Iron Head. And it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt so much that it's gonna make my Kraoganol useless for the rest of the game. As I'll be honest and say, I didn't expect that. Um, I was for for the life of me, I couldn't remember that Glalie do get the Iron Head. Then you know I basically sack my Kraoganol here. There's really no reason for me to trying to alleviate myself or trying to survive Kraoganol is it when all sense of the world kind of useless for this game anyway, as I'm gonna send in my Kubelion or the Five Horn. But here's what I do, a devastating mistake. I go directly for Stealth Rocks, knowing that I can easily knock out this Pokemon. His best switching should be Necrozma. And yeah, it is, but he's facing go for an earthquake, sack playing his Glalie, and I lose my sugar berry, which means in theory that that's my only way of checking the Scolipede. So right now I can't be Scolipede swept whenever he wants to do that or decides to. Uh, so I'm gonna switch in Doily, knowing that most likely he's not gonna risk his um, his Glalie right now, probably switching what I was hoping to be honest to be. Uh, <laughs> it's in a crossma. Unfortunately, though, we get the bird, but I, I feel he's gonna U turn. Um, so with that in mind, I decided to go directly for the C So The thing is, they're heading off in Hurricane, like the max uh, stronger attack was me, even as a C Fly and C variant. I would have been able to survive that and retaliate and, and get tornadoes out of the way. Now, we don't get that, like I said here. Uh, it's a C blister, it's gonna kill whatever comes in the remaining of his team. Uh, it would have been unfortunate had it been the Glalie, but at this part, yeah, it's the best I got. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Sub Zero Slammer and just knock out the Necrozma. Uh, now, I will say this, I actually scored a crit here, which I felt was really cool. No, no pun intended, but um, <laughs> like I said, it won't matter. It's an analytic boosted Sub Zero Slammer, it's just, it's just, mmm. Just punch his hole, but he's gonna send in the bird again. Now the thing is here, he could either go for Air Slash or he could go, or I mean Hurricane or U-Turn. Uh, I felt U-Turn was the most likely play for him to make. So I decided to send in Five Horn and Sack play basically, depending on what he goes for. And he's actually gonna go for uh, Air Slash, which means that I am fully convinced now that this is a Scarf variant, and I do take that quite right. Um, so I'm considering that I do take it as well, I'm actually gonna decide to go into Sierra Aura, mainly because it won't take anything from this. Serawar is actually fairly defensive. It's an underrated Pokemon. I feel that yeah, it doesn't it doesn't do as well as some under electric types, but it's definitely not bad. Um, it just I don't know the, the move pool is just not as wide as it should be. As he's gonna switch in the cold one, which is the Glalie. I was gonna say, but that's the, that the dad is a Glalie, and the grass. Not surprisingly, I should say, take this Pokemon out. Uh, being that I actually in <laughs> my jolly variant, so I, no, I didn't expect that. Uh, so now comes Leo, and that's a Scolipede. And yeah, we do have Stealth Rocks, which is great, but that's it. Um, I got nothing really to do here, uh, since I'm not a Shuka Berry variant of um, the Serora. I really, my only switching here is the Crocodile. And um, all I'm really gonna try to do here is um, force it out the best I can. Um, I'm actually gonna go for a knock over here, I think I'm gonna lock myself into that, as he's gonna go for protect, so... So, I, I was feeling a bit stressed out here, because I do realize that the end is near, and the thing is, had I gone for an earthquake, I would have forced it out, most certainly, but, I mean, at that point, would it have mattered? Like I said, they're losing sugar berry on my Cobalion, do intensify my situation. Now, he's even gonna go for swords down, which I felt was really cocky, 
But at the same time, it just showcased that it, this is a Savage Spin Scolipede, which also means that, yeah, he's most likely going to go for just that. So um, I'm going to switch out. I'm going to sack Cobalion as there's really no point of him. Or, you know, it fills its purpose, I guess, because it becomes a switch into the C move, which I guess is fine. But at this point, you know, I am not in a good spot. Like, I have a chance of surviving uh, potentially as X Scissor. I can survive a Mega Horn if I'm lucky once I'm switching Crocodile. But at this point, I am playing for differentials. I'm being completely honest here, folks. I have no no way at all of dealing with the Scallopede. And I'm not gonna, like, pretend that I have that. Like I said, my only player here is bringing Krugadal again and hope for the best. Uh, hope for a miss on the Mega Horn or survive the Exis or, or hoping that it doesn't have like his. What is that? Bug bite? No. <laughs> but, re but really, at this point, I have no way of alleviating myself. Um, I'm just hoping that he is not an invested Scallopede as he has the Mega Horn. And, you know, that's. That has a 94% of knocking me out, and of course it's going to knock me out. So yeah, you guys see for all what's going to happen here. Now I'm only switching now is Beedrill. Um, it has a small chance of also surviving. Not because it's invested, it's mainly because if it only has Earthquake, then I should be fine actually. Uh, and of course Mega Horn is four times resisted. So we got a Mega Vault, because why not? I don't get a boost in my defense anyway. I do lose special defense, but at this point, who, who cares, right? As I'm going to just showcase that that's a Mega Beedrill. As he goes for a quake, you know, like let's hope it survives. Kifa, show what you can do, and you know what, you know one HP is one is just up there. We're gonna connect the drill run, and uh, well, we're not, we're not swept by a scholar P. That's like that's a win in my book. That don't it doesn't happen too often, and just seeing that happens, it's it's a very happy feeling. But yeah, here's the thing though, we're gonna confirm that this is a scarfed. Bitch, I was gonna say, but it is it, like tornadoes here in theory do win the game no matter what I do. Um, he's gonna switch out, and of course, his switch in here is gonna be the jog reference. Uh, Stormy can't kill that, and uh, well, let's just face it, my only switch in here is Sarah Aura, since Sarah Aura and Stormy are the only Pokemon I have left. At this point, I'm just gonna play for the best part of trying to get close to 1 0. Now, he could have predicted me here going into Mudstail. But my opponent here was playing it really safe. I'm gonna connect the plasma. And of course, we're not. It's 100% accurate. But we we gotta go in for the plasma fist and just freaking shut down that pre marina. I was gonna say something different, but no, this is a kid friendly show. So we're gonna say we we, we just pet that with our fist a lot. And <laughs> now we're gonna switch in, of course, the mud stale. And I can't switch in Stommy. Uh, I need to sack my Sarah Aura here, and that's really unfortunate because that's the only way of me actually dealing with his, um, uh, which is Tornadoes, but as I said before, my opponent here is playing really safe, and like I said, had I switched in Stommy, Earthquake would have knocked out his Pokemon. I am in a cool spot though, which is that Hydro Pump do knock out Tornadoes if, if he switches out trying to go for Differential, so the Hydro Pump is my only play here, being if he goes one of those really, really strange chokes. But I know my opponent is better than that, so if anything, I'm gonna go for that at least. A loss with a 1-0, which I think in my book is a very, very nice thing to have. I'll be honest though, had I been a Scarf Stommy, we might have had a different game. Nah, I wouldn't have a different game here because Tornadoes is so healthy coming in here. Um, and, you know, if it's max speed, he will, we don't know speed anyway, so it doesn't necessarily matter. Anyway, like I said, what I'm trying to say here is that yes, we lose the game 1-0, but... I think we'll lose it really, really good. I think my opponent here, Nasser, plays this game very well. Uh, I really have nothing to complain about here. I think Nasser, with his Megaglele, really just put me down. And, you know, <laughs> what else can I say? He played this game a lot smarter than me and deserves to win. That's, that's pretty much it. Like, I did everything in my power, I think, to alleviate myself from not getting swept by Scalipede, which I failed once I got the Shukaberry off, my Cobalion against me, Glalie. And I think overall his team was smarter synergized here. He definitely kept Pokemon healthy that needed to be healthy, which could have uh, destroyed him, Sarah Aura being one of them. And you know, those Tornadoes being Scarfed and being just chipping down was a really strong revenge killer, and it worked really well here. Um, Nasser overall played this game better than me, and deserves a win. His team is just better constructed here. Um, 
But team matchup wise, I think had I had Celestia still in my party, um, I would have a better chance of winning this game. But as standing, um, this was just a very, a very tough game for me. I have another. If, I, if we're facing the game, I have another strategy to inbound. But um, yeah, this is close as good as it gets, and it's not a pretty sight. Um, overall, though, like I said, I'm happy with the result. I lose only 1 0. I think that's that's actually fine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, really look forward to facing Nasser again in the future. Uh, so, with that said, of course, you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game, and uh, I hope also this way of recording is fine too, where I don't. Um, it's clearly in lower quality, but hopefully, you know, it's it's easier for me to record this way and do alleviate a lot of time here. You know, when times are tough, one really have to get tougher. I have no idea what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is that hope you can accept this quality also. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video. Until then, take care.